start thinking about who you want to invite into your birthing space. <laughs> childbirth educator and home birth mama times three. And I made this channel essentially to help you plan your amazing home birth. Everybody in your birth space will either release an atmosphere of fear or an atmosphere of faith. So choose wisely. Have you ever noticed that your senses are heightened during pregnancy? For example, foods might taste juicier or a lot worse. In my first pregnancy, I could taste all the oils that food was cooked in and I just could not eat anything that was fried or cooked in oil. Maybe touch feels much better when you're pregnant. Sometimes your hearing is better, your vision is better, your sense of smell is stronger, everything is heightened. Well, there's no exception to that when you are in labor. It's the way God designed us. He designed it so that our intuition and our spiritual sensitivity would be heightened during this time. Think of it this way, animals birthing in the wild need to really use their intuition to know if they need to stop and move to another safe place. For example, if they're birthing by a tree or something and a predator comes and they need to protect themselves and protect their child, then they need to go. And so their intuition is much stronger and that's the same with humans. In a normal everyday setting, you may not notice someone in the room whispering or someone reacting to something you say with like a weird look. You may not think much of it, but you may notice those types of things more so when you're in labor. Now, spiritually, when you're in labor, you are the most powerful person in the room. So you should never ever let anybody else's energy interfere with your own. So if you're the type of person who isn't affected by other people's energies and you just focus on your own, then it's great to maybe have lots of helping hands in your birthing space. Okay, so let's just think about it here. You're in labor, you're in a very vulnerable state, you may be wearing minimal clothing, you are feeling discomfort and so you're reacting in ve a very raw, organic way to that discomfort. And then of course the first two hours after a baby is born, you are likely topless so that baby can have skin to skin and you're trying to achieve that very, very important bond and the breastfeeding relationship between you and baby. My biggest suggestion for first time moms is to have your partner and your healthcare practitioners there with you. If you're having just a standard home birth without water. If you're a first time mama and you're hoping for a water birth, then I highly suggest having someone in charge of just making sure the water is ready to go. The water has to be the perfect temperature for baby to be born in it and you have to make sure that the valves are working and the hose is hooked up properly and everything is kind of just there's just a lot to think about when you're having a water birth. I personally believe that it's 110% worth the work. If you want to have a water birth, you can either ask your mom to be in charge or you can even hire a doula. The nice thing about a doula is she's a trained professional and so she can help you in so many other ways or she can guide your partner in so many other ways. But another thing that's great is she kind of just knows what to do because she's experienced. If you lose your rhythm, it's really important that your birthing partner reminds you and brings you back. You will hit a point in transition when you feel like you can't do it anymore and that's when you need that person the most. Did you know that when a mother is fearful, her body goes into a fight or flight response mode and this can inhibit the release of the hormone oxytocin, which is required for labor to progress. It sounds complicated, but our bodies are incredible and your body will release oxytocin as long as you are feeling safe and comfortable in your space. Now the thing is, fear response releases adrenaline and adrenaline counteracts oxytocin. Here are some signs a woman's birthing body is disrupted. Slowed or stalled labor, painful contractions, the need for interventions, and fetal distress. I want you to sit down when it's quiet, you know, before bed when everybody else is sleeping, and I want you to write down the people who you're considering having at your birth. Think about that person coming in the bathroom with you while you were taking a pee. Think about that person giving you really bad news and you start to cry in front of them. Think about if you were sick and that person was the only person to take care of you, would they do a good job? 
sometimes you need to hear that it's okay to not invite anybody at all. And sometimes you need to hear that it's okay to not invite anybody to meet your baby for as long as you need that time with your baby. So just remember that. My first birth experience, I only had my husband there and then my healthcare practitioners. My husband and I did the Bradley Method training program and it almost helped him learn how to be my personal doula. That said, I had a water birth planned and it didn't work out and one of the reasons was because he was only one person and when I was in labor I actually wanted him to be at my side all times. I needed to hold on to him. He couldn't go and do anything else. For my second birth experience, I decided that I wanted my firstborn there. So my sister-in-law came over and fed him and she was downstairs with him while my husband was upstairs with me. And I remember right before the baby was born, I was in the tub, my sister-in-law brought my son up. She was able to witness the birth of my second as well. I actually felt comforted having another woman in the room. With my third birth, I would have had my firstborn there but not my second born, who was 16 months at the time. The boys came home to meet the baby too soon. The midwives were actually still there weighing the baby and doing all of the things. And my sister-in-law had a ton of people at her home birth because she didn't expect, <laughs> she was celebrating her dad's birthday and she didn't expect to have the baby so quickly. But sometimes just to have a tribe of women who you feel safe around can be just so empowering. Um, like in the old days when it were it was just all the amazing women in your life banding together and helping you birth your baby. If any of you guys have tried having some special women in your life at your birth and you really enjoy that experience, let me know in the comments down below and share your story so that other people can see them and it will help them make their decision. Anyways, thank you so much for sitting down with me today for this chatty video. I can't wait to see you guys next time.